on on behalf of the whole team of the quiz uh in the hispanic language academy dakshin dinajpur district quiz station miss rika uh, our queries the rainbow then we have with us this all the uh, guests from uh, mexico we have guests from others we welcome you all to today's quiz as you know that this is the first time a quiz is being held online including where participants from all over the world will participate and there is a huge enthusiastic participation from all over india so i first of all uh, will welcome our today's chief guest soraya karo vargas who is the director of csicm universidad extendado de colombia she has joined us from colombia she has a long experience of staying in india and know the indian culture and still her university is working very closely with the universities of india so i welcome soraya and we are glad we are honored that you are present with us today soraya thank you professor dear professor dia jyoti on behalf of externado de colombia and ceci cam the center of research on, on india and south asia that i direct i want to congratulate you for the life uh, commitment uh, strengthening relations between india and latin america and we of course appreciate this invitation they are participants of this significant event that is developed devoted to the only house the only temple that we really uh, be, that really belongs to us uh, the earth la tierra la, la madre tierra uh, i think that if you are connected uh, this sunday is be, is because in a way you know that our house needs urgently to be repaired and because you know that the regulation the regulating effort of states around the globe have not been enough to stop the environment crisis if you are here is because you value the mediation task of multilaterals to save humanity from a devastating climate degradation but you know that it hasn't been enough and companies are worried to generate opportunities and wealth but in many cases at expenses of our only place if you are here is because you believe in the strength of citizenry the capacity of the normal society, society to achieve their goals and suddenly change the path and the tendencies of society this context is about knowledge data information comparative analysis that you need to know and manage to change uh, the road of climate change but the real context is outside every day in your place of work please don't forget that data knowledge and information are important but without the strategic actions is like to see mountains or river in a picture like this is like yes. to see the jungle in a video is like to see empty streets empty parks empty schools around and you know already what i'm talking about so i invite you i hope the best for you all in this competence and i hope to see you outside applying all your knowledge in the daily life for instance building building deeper relations with uh, with latin america not only investing in extraction of natural resources but in industries in which we can both in latin america add value and use in an, in a sustainable way uh, our natural resources the health sector for instance the it sector for agroindustry for instance in the electronic sector for instance developing the industry of electric cars so we have many fields to work together many things to study and i hope the best for you in this contest i hope you can come to colombia and latin america one day we wait for you thank you thank you soraya muchas gracias a soraya no, sí. it's a really a privilege to have her with us today and uh, we are glad that we are joined by our one of our partner for this project also from uh, mexico uh, that is from uh, he has omar has joined us so omar would you like to say a few words gracias 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 dif de verdad yo como siempre estoy honrado de estas invitaciones y de estas participaciones 
Este, es un esfuerzo que siempre he mencionado que es este, de la conjunción de muchas voluntades y estoy muy agradecido. Es algo nuevo, inédito para nosotros en, en México y en mi, en mi municipio, este tipo de concursos y este tipo de, de alianzas. Muchas gracias a todos los que, los que participan. Eh, honrado de estar aquí, mucha suerte. Aquí tenemos algunos participantes de mi municipio en Gilotepec y a ver qué tal nos va. Muchas gracias. Mucha suerte. So, uh, best of luck to everybody. Muchos saludos a todos. Now I would like to pass over to the, our quiz master, Rajiv, to continue. Rajiv. Namaskar. Uh, this is a World Yoga Day, and uh, thank you, ma'am, Suraya, ma'am. Thank you, Omar, sir. Namaskar. <laughs> Muchas gracias for being so gracious. So we'll begin the thing, but I think we'll begin with the uh, invocation, which talks about today. <clears throat> Purnamadam Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachvate Purnashva Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasheshvate Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Let us pray for the global peace. Let us all live in harmony with Mother Nature. And the Mother Nature has taught us we need to live with harmony and biodiversity. Even the smallest and the smallest animal has a rightful place to live. It is the humans with their arrogance, with their attitude, and with believing that they are the biggest creation of the Lord. It's a mistruth conception, however, and they have taken nature for granted. So I think it's time when we've all come together to start believing and living in harmony and to use as ma'am said, ma'am said that, uh, uh, you know, what is happening outside? One of the reasons the pandemic is happening because we have killed mercilessly murdered the animals and the plants and the insects and the nature is taking its revenge anyway sorry thank you so much sir i'd like to acknowledge my heartfelt gratitude once again to Deepo Jyoti sir for organizing this event it's a fantastic event people a lot of hundreds and probably thousands of people are watching facebook live from india now right now and uh, i would like to acknowledge my gratitude to Dokhin Dinashpur Quiz Association, these young youngsters, they have taken it upon themselves. And everybody who is watching, today's quiz, before I go into it, it's the Latin uh, uh, America Biodiversity Quiz. Myristica is our partner. Thank you to them. So today's questions are, uh, well, a bit on the difficult side, because if you are into Latin America, so the first question, the first part of the question will be projected and um, in English. And the second slide will be in, 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 in uh, the Spanish that will be saying it. So with your kind permission, I think we can begin the quiz. And I understand that game of a little boy is waiting over there. So the first question is, uh, Omar, sir, I think this question is dedicated to you. <laughs> so, so let us see what is happening. I'm sharing the screen. Yes. So, everything is okay. I think. So this is uh, 21st Zoom 2020. It is indeed the Latin America Environment and Biodiversity Quiz. Uh, and it's a privilege to have Suraya Ma'am and all the guests from the beautiful Latin American continent. 
So the first question of today's quiz coming up. So this question is in English language. So naturally, everybody who is on Facebook, this question is directed to you. So you can answer on the comment box. And we are going live with Myristika and Dukkhin Dinashpur Quiz Association. Now more than ever, we are confronted with the fragility. Here comes the first question. The Valley of X is situated between Puerto Halata and uh, Guala, Guadalajara in the Mexican state of Ilisco. Uh, uh, it's, it features rolling hills and powder blue agave fields. This is all set against the beautiful western Sierra Madare and is dominated by the dormant X volcano. The combination of uh, a dry climate and the volcanic soil make this area perfect for growing blue agave, which is the raw material for X. The vast blue agave fields, which were recently named uh, as a World Heritage Site. So my question is, identify X, the value of X, and the hint is the agave field. If you know what is being made from agave, and I hope uh, children are, uh, <laughs> will not be very interested in it, but if I'm going to Omosa's country, I hope I'll be treated with that. But this question is right now, for people, hundreds and thousands of people was streaming live in Facebook in India. So um, I hope uh, now I'll request sir uh, to read the Spanish version of this. And in the meantime, as the Spanish version has been read uh, on Facebook, you get time to answer. Sir. Okay, sure. no, uh, hello, sir. I will be reading the Spanish part. Yeah. Um, Ahora pregunta en español. El Valle de X está situado entre Puerto Vallarta y Guadalajara, Guadalajara, en el estado mexicano de Jalisco. Cuenta con colinas ondulas, campos de agave azul claro. Todo esto se compara con la hermosa Sierra Madre Occidental y está dominado por el volcán inactivo X. La combinación de un clima seco y el suelo volcánico hacen que esta área sea perfecta para el cultivo de agave azul, que es la materia prima para X. Los vastos campos de agave azul que recientemente fueron nombrados Patrimonio de la Humedad. Okay, thank you. I think we have given enough time, uh, Shorov. Answers are coming in Facebook. Shorov, I cannot hear you. Please unmute. Shorov, unmute. Unmute, unmute. Shorov. Shorov, unmute, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, answers are coming? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many of them give right answer. Oh, right answer. So now I think we can have the answer from the Latin American participants. What is the answer? Uh, la respuesta, por favor. Alguien sabe? Yo no tengo Darío. Sí. Bueno, yo creo, este, I believe that is our national drink. And it's a tequila. Oh, <laughs> sí. Esto es. Very clear, brilliant answer. It's tequila. La respuesta es tequila de Jalisco. Absolutely. So the answer, here comes the answer. It is tequila, Jalisco. Because, uh, you know, what has happened, let me explain a few words. When I was studying the beautiful country because of the quiz, so I didn't know that, you know, tequila, you know, came from that. And it's a beautiful region, I hope, almost, sir. Uh, when I'm visiting Mexico, you know, and I believe okay. that, <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that I'll be drinking it, but I'll be visiting those beautiful places because on air I cannot say all these things. So thank you so much. You're absolutely right. Brilliant answer. 
So show off how many answers hola, have come. Todos, hola a todos, buenos días. We some we got some many of them. Many. Many answers have come. Yes sir. So you have to find out who has answered the first three answers, na? No sir, we are giving the point to all of them who are correct. Okay, then we have to after the quiz we'll say so tequila elisco is the answer. So with your kind permission sir, I think we can proceed to question number 2. This is the nature and environment and biodiversity quiz Latin America with your friend uh, Rajiv Sanyal. Thank you much as bless you sir for being here. I'm trying to say a few words also. Question number 2 coming up. The males have by far the biggest noses of any primate. So big they even make eating awkward. Combined with their swollen pot bellies they're unlikely the to find any beauty of this Latin American countries are unbelievable but their peculiar looks are the result of their ability to adapt to this remote part of the planet the jungle mangroves in which they live look lush but looks can be deceiving the leaves are tough and toxic and very few animals can actually stomach them but the proboscis monkey can handle this diet the males have by far the biggest noses of so a uh, two part question identify the animal for the you know uh, this this question goes to facebook live name the uh, animal the monkey a beautiful one so beautiful and obviously you can see that uh, the famous tintin comic you know you have to name the comic now over to you ma'am for this question in 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 uh, uh, the the uh, language spanish language yes um identifique la especie conocida en colombia como el chiguro la especie de rodeador más grande del mundo Uh no uh, uh Question number 2 Yes identify the animal and the y, title uh, of the ha yeah Y el título de la cuenta de la cuenta de Tintin también por favor Yes yes Tambia thank you That was question number 2 you are with the quiz master Rajiv Sanyal a lot of stories going on I think in between we'll be hearing from our Latin American participants uh, about how this the culturally and biodiversity rich countries so in the meantime as the answer comes will the males have by far anybody the biggest try to answer noses of any primate so big they even make eating awkward So uh now uh, I think you can block the answer show off so question answers are coming in facebook yes sir acha first of all let me take the answers from our latin american participants uh any idea the name of the monkey alguien aquí decía diablo jonathan nasalis narvatus mono narigudo no Okay, and the name of the Tintin comic. I don't know whether you have read it or not. As children, we have grown up reading these comics. Titulo de Erge comic. Alguien sabe? Okay, it's okay. Fine, no problem. So, what is the answer that has come? I think we can take the answers from uh, the Facebook live. Yes, sir. Show off. Yes, sir. Many of them get right. And right, right. Name some of them. Uh, the. the registered people have some like vision ganguly yeah pratap ji so, ghosh so what did ghosh okay fantastic the, so what what is the answer yeah i'm saying proboscis monkey 
Proboscis monkey. Okay. And the title of the comic? Uh, no, sir. This answer that does not came. So it comes to the quiz master now. It is the for the proboscis, proboscis monkey. monkey. Size Pro matters. La respuesta es mono pro probocide y uh, la nombre de cómico es vuelo 714. Yes, flight sir, 714. Yes. Sir, yeah. Sir, interrupting you, sir. Ah. The, the registered participants hmm. are asking to disable the comment box. Disable the comment box? Yes, sir. Sir, you are... Why? Ask sir, the people who are watching in Facebook, please ah. ask them to not to answer in comment box. Acha, may I have a humble submission? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. You are watching. You are supporting. But uh, I have a humble request. People who have registered. Can you please not answer in the comment box? In any way, you are not getting any money from the, not a monetary prize here. You are playing the fun of it. We are thankful to the Latin American uh, counselors and uh, the gentlemen, the ladies who have come over here, such a privilege, ma'am. So uh, let us uh, go for one more question. And if they still don't listen, then we'll think of uh, putting the comment box off. Okay. Yes, Never mind. Don't be harsh on them. We yes. are very thankful. We are very thankful yes, for sir. everybody who are participating. Yes, sir. Okay. Fantastic. Adipo Jyoti, sir, can I go to the next question, sir? Yes, sure. Yes. Okay. We are on time. Next question coming up. That is question number three. Now, uh, I want the English answer of this. So, so ma'am, uh, this is from your country, the rich country. Identify the species known in Colombia as Chigirio. I don't know if pronunciation is current, current, correct or not, sir. Uh, I am pronouncing Chigirio. 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 Chiguero. Okay. This is a species and this is the largest known rodent species in the world. So this is the question for Facebook the people who are watching. Kindly don't put your answer in the comment box. It's a humble request. And here goes the question in Spanish. Identifique la especie conocida en Colombia como el Chiguero. El espacio de rodeador más grande del mundo. Yes. So I think we'll give a bit more time for the Facebook people to answer. People registered and uh, I think there are young children from Varanasi Sandim schools. They are probably watching, yes, sir. participating. Thank you so much. It's a huge privilege for me to be a part of this. A lot of people are watching from India. So what is the answer now that your time is up? Okay, let me take the answer from the Latin American participants first. Alguien quiere? Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Yes. Yes, our little master, you can. Yes, little master, please. Uh, can you tell the answer? Yeah, you'll tell the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy Bara. My goodness. Brilliant. Can you all clap? No, please, let us clap. Brilliant answer. It is Capybara. Capybara is the correct answer. The show of how many people got Capybara in the Facebook? So many of them, sir. Many of them got Capybara. Yes, so you sir. are with your friend, Quiz Master Rajiv here today. And with this is Latin American Biodiversity Quiz. Coming to know the beautiful continent, hope to go all together. Ma'am has already invited us and sir would be our guide. We come to the next question. Another beautiful, beautiful, magical species. You have to name the species of monkey. Here comes your question now. Curious tails even have a bare patch of skin at the tip, much like the palm of a hand, for a more precise grip. But most importantly of all, the monkeys here evolve tails far stronger than anywhere else on Earth. They're so powerful, 
they can support their entire body weight. But these monkeys have another special adaptation for moving through the jungle. Unlike virtually every other primate, their hands have no thumbs at all. Early explorers thought their lack of thumb was a sign that these jungle swingers were very primitive monkeys. But in fact, this couldn't be further from the truth. Their hands have carefully evolved to only have four long fingers and no thumb, which could potentially snag on the branches. This makes the perfect hook to swing from. With their unusual hands. Well, friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can understand how beautiful biodiverse species are there. The monkey, in the technical term, is the Atlas uh, geoffroy, is an adorable little creature native to the regions of Mexico that boasts tropical rainforests and the woodlands. Identify the species. So now it's your turn, ma'am, uh, Shabtu ma'am, to uh, this, read out this question. In yes. El mono X, Atlas Geography, es una adorable criatura nativa de las regiones de México que impulsa las selvas tropicales y los bosques. ¿Qué es el nombre de esta mono? Uh, I think I can give a hint. The name of the monkey uh, resembles the name, you know, is the, the, the name uh, sounds uh, with a creature which many of us are very afraid of. <laughs> yes, little master. Jonathan, sir. Alva, sir, are you here? If you are here, so you can give me an answer, please. Sir, I'm thinking about the answer. You think of the answer. Yes, what is the answer? The answer is coming in, uh, in, in, in Facebook? Yes, sir. In WhatsApp, sir. In WhatsApp. Fantastic. Yes, many of them, sir, okay. are right. Oh, now, now they can comment on the on the comment box. Now they can answer. Now you can put your answer in the comment box, please. That is good because we'll come to know who's answering. Yes, uh, young, dynamic, little master Ghosh. Yes, we are very afraid of something in the house. A lot of people. Black spider monkey. Oh, what an answer! Spider monkey is the brilliant answer. What it? Can you all clap for this wonderful person? Put us together. Black the curious tails even have a bare patch of skin at the tip. Much like it's totally unique to monkeys in the Americas. In these dense forests. The spider monkeys use their tail as an extra limb. So, whatever I speak, whatever I talk, you keep on watching this Latin American biodiversity and you are filled with joy unspeakable. This evening, we see you with a friend, Quiz Master Rajiv Saniel, going to question number five. Now, this is a technical question, okay? From Latin America. Okay, it's a, it's a basically... Uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site, the X Rock, uh, the X Rock Art Site is located in the most northwest corner of Costa Rica. It's a question from Costa Rica and lies only 20 kilometers away from the Nicaraguan border. Its outstanding ground monuments belong to the Cordillera de Gonacaste mountain range, situated in the corresponding province of. Guan Caste, the whole X, X something, X archaeological zone forms part of the Guan Caste conservation area. And I hope when I'm going to Costa Rica, I'll be visiting this wonderful place as a UNESCO natural heritage site in 1999. The first scientific report on this rock monuments dates from 1989 by Chavez Jimenez and is listed in the archaeological database of the Costa Rica National Museum 
under the site site key g five four zero pd identify x what is the name of the site i'm asking about so i believe when you study this research this you start becoming an expert now ma'am it's all yours to read out the question in spanish el sitio de arte rupeste x se encuentra en la esquina más noroeste de costa rica y se encuentra a solo 20 kilómetros de frontera nicaragüense su descata dos monumentos terrestres pertenecen a la cordillera de la cordillera de guanacaste situa, situado en la correspondiente provincia de guanacaste toda la zona arqueológica X forma parte del área de conservación de Guanacaste, QCE, y ha sido declarada Patrimonio de la Humedad por UNESCO en 1999. El primer informe científico sobre sus monumentos de arte rupestre data de 1989, Chávez Jiménez, y figura en la lista arqueológica. Lógica. Base de datos de Músico Nacional de Costa Rica bajo los sitios, sitios clave G540 PD. Identifique X. Ok. Identifique X. So, uh, anybody trying? Omar, sir. Is that, is that oh. Reina de Nicoya? Who is saying this, ma'am? Uh, uh, can you once again repeat the answer, please? Repite, por eh, favor. Is that Reina de Nicoya? Ah, uh, no. Uh, okay, this is a World Heritage Site. Es Any answer? Es... Sitio. Yeah. I know, it's a, uh, the, today the questions are a bit tough because... <laughs> Anybody interested? Uh, we said it's Latin American biodiversity, so they must have studied. Uh, okay. Uh, any any answer has come short of? Yes, sir. Lots of. Lots of? My yes, goodness. Sir. Can you name somebody, one or two names, and say what is the answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir from DPS Rupi. Uh, DPS Rupi Park. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Nirmit Chaurasia from Lahar Tara. Okay. What is the answer? Tikta Chondo. Okay, what is the answer? So they are Pedrigal. Pedrigal, my goodness, what an answer. Put your hands together for them. It is Pedrigal in Costa Rica. So Pedrigal we are. Pedrigal de Costa Rica. Yes, Pedrigal de Costa Rica. Okay. We go to the next question. We are on time. I think we go to question number seven, 12 question. Now, next question comes from another beautiful country. They're all beautiful countries. Here comes the question. bird is a large passerine bird of the Cotinga family native to Andean cloud forest in South America. It is widely regarded as a national bird of Peru. It is distributed in cloud forest of the Andes. It lives in a large range of about 260-000 km square across Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru and Bolivia, mostly in ravines and forested streams in montane areas uh, at 500 to 2400 meters elevation the nest is built entirely by the female are mark plastered to cave entrances or rocky rocky outcrops in foreign ravines identify this romantically magically beautiful bird the national bird of peru ma'am Esta ave es una gran ave pasiforme de la familia cotinga nativa de los bosques nublados andinos de América del Sur. Es ampliamente considerado, considerado como el ave nacional de Perú. Se distribuye en los bosques nubosos de los Andes. Vive en amplio rango de aproximadamente 200 60 mil 
uh, kilómetros cuadrados en Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Perú y Bolivia, principalmente en quebradas y arroyos boscosos en áreas montañosos, una elevación de 500 a 2.040 metros. Dos nidos constituidos completamente por el hembra. Están cubiertos de barro en las entradas de cuervas o aflotamientos rocosos en las quebradas de bosque. Okay, sir, anybody from Peru today? I, I, thought, I hope they're watching. So what is the answer? The National Board of Peru. If nobody trying, then we'll go to the Facebook. Answers have come in Facebook. Yes, yes, Mr. Ghosh. <laughs> Master Ghosh. Uh, and in cock of the rock. And in cock of the rock. You are indeed the diamond on the rock. Thank you. What an answer! Put the hands together. Thank you, sir. And this has a local name. So, Shorab, how many answers have come? Lots of, sir. Lots of? Yes, sir. So, there, was, you... so there is a seven class kids who have ah. written all the answers. From written Balugat. all? From Balugat? Yes, sir. What is his name? Pritha Shah. Pritha, wonderful. Sir, Dibujati sir, I hope you are watching and hearing you are in the process. These, these, have, these people have become uh, uh, in Latin American experts. So I think you must be very happy they are answering all the questions. So yes. it is, and, and, and this is the National Board of Peru, is a local name. The name is Tunki. If I'm not wrong, it is Tunki. Yes, sir. Yeah. Indian rock of the cock is the brilliant answer. La respuesta es gallo de roca andino y conocido como tunki. Absolutely, such a beautiful bird. We are in the midway. We are on time, I believe. We come to now next question. Um, once again, it's a question from the country, the coat of the arms. Achha. This coat of the arms. This coat of the arms of the beautiful country and they identify the animal. One of the Latin American countries, such a beautiful animal, that is the question. And ma'am, you can just read it out in Spanish. Yes. Este es el escudo de armas de un hermoso país. Nombra el país y identifica el animal. Yes. This is the coat of the arms from a beautiful country, once again, from Latin America. Este es el escondo de armas. I'm trying. <laughs> and uh, so, so uh, uh, identify uh, this, uh, the animal. So I was a bit, you know, uh, a bit bold over here. Nombra el pese y identifica al animal. Is it okay, ma'am? More or less. Pais. More or less, yes. Pais. Pais. Pais identifica al animal. It's okay. I think I know. So, so, the yeah. de Peru. so, so who answered that? I don't know. Actually, somebody answered. Oh, yeah. Sir, some, I got an answer. Who answered, sir? Uh, otra vez, por favor. Es un guanaco escudo de armas de Peru. Sí, uh, de Peru. Es República de Perú y... ¿Qué es el nombre de uh, esta como animal? Guanaco. Guanaco. Uh, picuna. Sí, picunia. Es un guanaco. Uh, ¿Cómo está tu answer? Sí, sí. Uh, I don't know, it might have a different oh. name. It is, it, it is in it. El nombre puede ser un poco diferente, pero... Lama, Lama Guanico, el nombre científico. Ok. Uh, he is saying Lama... Um, Something that may be colloquial to their uh, and but it, it, in the internet, you know, it's given this as a vicuna, vicuna, uh, si. vic, vicuna, vicuna. Anyway, that was brilliant. Thank you, sir. Uh, vicuna, what is the vicuna? Vicuna, 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 Okay, sí. muchas gracias, Seno. <laughs> so it is very interesting. Thank you so much for participating. 
and in fact omar sir had a plenty of you know do working on his biodiversity i think sir we can organize one one quiz once again with the questions from omar sir i don't know how it got missed anyway we'll go to the next question is a beautiful question you have to identify the species humble penguins risk life and wing as they tumble towards the sea It's just what they have to do to feed the family. These penguin nests on island and rocky coasts. Penguin feathers at the bottom soften the landing and they make it down fairly unscathed. I think, uh, ma'am, you can uh, go for the. Uh, so this is a wonderful uh, opportunity. Pain. Yes, ma'am, can I read the answer questions in yes, Spanish. Sure. Este pingüino an anida en islas y costas rocosas y se alimenta en las aguas circundantes. Su hábitat está muy influenciado por la corriente fría X, rica en nutrientes que fluye hacia el norte desde Antártida, que es vital para la productividad del plancton, plancton y el krill y fomenta la abundancia de peces. La, so, el nombre it... de este pingüino, por favor. Yes, the species of penguins, and uh, this is the beautiful penguin species once yes. again. Yes, sir. Salt. It is named after the you know the sea current over there. We have number of currents, and uh, it's a very interesting one. Such a beautifully rich country with uh, nations, nations together, the conglomerate Latin American countries. Uh, so identify this penguin species. El pingüino de penacho amarillo. No. Pinguino de Humboldt. Sí, sí. Sí, Pinguino sí. Pinguino de Humboldt. What an answer. Thank you, ma'am. Put your hands together. So, can we put your hands together in the quiz? Yes, and I yes, hope yes. and I hope it will be a real quiz with all the people coming together and a grand one. So answers have come, short of? Yes, sir. Is the Humboldt penguin is the correct answer? Humboldt penguins risk life and wing as they tumble towards the sea. In fact, I take the opportunity to say that uh, the feces they you know, produce, it is very rich in nitrogen. It is known as guano. And that, that nutritious thing has been harvested. And uh, uh, so in, in some part of time, it created a kind of devastating effect. Ladies and gentlemen, that was question number eight. Four more questions left. And we are into the quiz. We're almost at nine o'clock here in the Indian Standard Time. Here comes another question. I think ma'am is here. This is the most venomous party bread in the world. This species is known by a common name, you know, because of certain reasons. The hunters of the past, they used to go there and do something with this beautiful frog. So you have to name the species, the common name, or and the native endemic country. So I think uh, I have been able to answer. So in 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 in, in Spanish, ma. Yes. Uh, este el vertebrado. Más veneroso del mundo, porque nombre común se conoce esta especie y también se nombra el país nativo y endémico. Ah, yes. Es donde Costa Rica, ¿no? Sí. Pues. Mire, van a dar dos. 
No, no es de Costa Rica. Mm. ¿Es una rana dardo? ¿Es terribilis, dendrobates? No, no, no es dendrobates, ¿o sí? I, give an, I just give a hint. Es de Colombia, entonces. De Colombia, Colombia, sí. Y, uh, yes. El nombre de uh, rana. Colombia. Terribilis. But the name, yeah, the name of the frog comes from an action the hunters of the past used to do with this frog. Can you please translate this in Spanish? Uh, say another time, please. The hunters, the hunters. The hunters used to do something with this frog. Uh, los, los, los cazadores se usaba. Los nombres tiene relación con cazadores. Omar, sí. Mm. Es que esta rana puede ser conocida como rana flecha o como rana nardo, pero no es nada. Eh, este género en especial se llama dendrobates y abarca muchos países. Hay en Panamá, hay en Colombia, hay en Perú. Entonces, específicamente es esta es este, complicado. Dice una rana flecha o rana dardo. Rana sí, venerosa, sí. sí. Sí, sí, sí. Actually, uh, the question is endemic. It is found all over Latin America. Uh, but they are talking about mainly the, concentrating the thing, in... Yeah, the thing is, uh, they are saying that uh, in many countries, the yeah. uh, it is known by uh, many names. So Okay. Okay. So any answer has come short of in... in, in what is the answer? Well, who, has, who has answered? Tanuj Changdar, thank you Tanuj for watching. He's an avid quizzer. <laughs> He's a corporate guy. Yeah, Tanuj, what, what answer did he give? Yes, it is poison dart frog. Fantastic. Because the, yes, uh, you know, the hunters used to pit them, they put the poison. So, and we have seen that Latin American thing. The poison dart frog is a brilliant answer. It can be found all across the, uh, the Latin American countries. But, um, you know, it, the concentration is high on Colombia. I hope, Omar, sir, is it right? I mean, that I have read in, 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 in internet. If I'm wrong, you can correct me because you are yourself an authority in biodiversity. You are, I, I, I just, I don't know how, how, how I missed it. I've taken two questions from your, uh, you know, posts, but missing it out, never mind. I think we'll have one question. Uh, one fun. quiz with Omosa's in food once, and thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> How? Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, can you see the presentation? Is it visible? No. No. Share no. The, share so I think. Share Please share it again. I have to share it again. Share screen. Share with computer sound. And I hope it doesn't come from the first. You can see that now, sir, it's visible? Yes, yes, it's visible. Yes. Okay. Question number 10 coming up. Now, this is a very famous environmental award. Today is a biodiversity quiz. We are having less of fun, more of knowledge. Identify this award. Change the slide. Yes. Identificar este prestigioso premio ambiental. It, yes. See, if you if you are talking about environmental awards, this is one of the most prominent environmental awards which are given for environmental activists. Yes. Yes. The most famous environmental award. El premio ambiental muy prestigioso. Yes. Sí, sí. Yes, sir. I believe it's a Goldman uh, Environment Prize. 
let's see. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Put your hands together. Sir, let me ask you a small question, Omar sir. Sir, I just found out that we are very interested. You are doing such a wonderful work on biodiversity. So you are an authority in this field also. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this. So what do you think? You. I, is it possible that a, a common connection might be made and we can, as the Pujuri sir is there, we can have uh, sessions with you and sir, and we come to know about biodiversity, more about the species, the flora and the fauna. Because what I found out, you are working specifically on this, the spiders and uh, the other uh, subjects. The three brilliant questions I made, somehow, somehow uh, I just missed it out. I hope in the next video. So two words from kind words from you. Omar, sir. Yes. Sí, yo estaría este, muy agradecido, muy emocionado ¿no? de que pudiéramos realizar algo en, en conjunto. Este, sí. Yes, uh, it, 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 yes, it is possible that, yes, he is very emotional to have, to participate in this and in future he is ready to have a lot of collaborations. Fantastic. And thank you, sir, for creating the opportunity. Thank you so much. So it is, uh, I think answers have come short of so it is it is it is basically the gold yeah it is the goldman environmental prize right. but now but now question number 11 the penultimate question coming after today's quiz and uh, as promised it's a one hour program so two more questions left this question is dedicated to one of the greatest environmental activists of latin america here comes the question she is a Colombian environmentalist. She grew up in a relatively poor family and while a schoolgirl, from age of seven, she helped her family with collecting recycles at the Bogota Municipal Dump Site. After finishing secondary school, she could not afford further education and pursued with recycling for a living. Along with other informal recyclers, she co-founded the Recycling Association Association de Reciclodoras de Bogota, ARB, in 1990, aiming to improve the conditions for the waste pickers, eventually assuming the position of executive director of the association. She has eventually attended the university for studying public administration. She was awarded the Goldman Environment Prize in 2013. I wish and hope, sir, in some next of our program, Dibu Jyoti, sir, along with Omar, sir, we can have her also. So can you please read this question in Spanish, ma'am? Yes, sure. Ella es una ambientista colombiana. Ella creció en una familia relativamente pobre. Y mientras era un colegiana, desde la edad de se, uh, 60 años, ayudó a su familia a recolectar reciclaje en la vertedero municipal de Bogotá. Después de terminar la escuela secundaria, no podía permitirse una educación, educación superior y surgió con el reciclaje para um, ganarse la vida. Junto con otros recicladores informales, con fondo la Asociación de Reciclaje, Asociación, Asociación de Recicladores de Bogotá, en 1990, con el objetivo de mejorar las condiciones para recicladores. Finalmente asumió el cargo de directora eh, ejecutiva de la asociación. Finalmente asistió a la universidad para estudiar administración pública. Fue ganadora con el Gold, Goldman Environmental Prize en 2013. El nombre 2013. de okay. El nombre de esta <laughs> persona. Okay. Uh, any answer coming uh, uh, from Oh. Yes. Mr. Junior Ghosh, yes please. Um Nora Padilla? Nora, Nora Padilla. Padilla. Oh, Padilla. Padilla. Sí. Nora Padilla. What an answer. 
How are you are very so, uh, sir? So this is brilliant. I think this wonder kid should be gifted something. <laughs> wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. So uh, uh, before we come to the last question, uh, Shorab, many answers have come. I believe this is Nora Padia. I think uh, I we should not be pronouncing L. Something, ma'am. It's right. Nora Padia, na? Padia. See. Okay, yes. See. Padia. Padia. One thing for sure. The last question coming up. I like to acknowledge my gratitude to Deepak Jyoti sir. Finally, we'll have words from you also, sir. And almost, sir, it's very important to hear from you also. Only thing is, there are two questions. Uh, I don't know. I just framed it. But last moment, we have fifteen question quiz. But I hope we can have it uh, in the next quiz. Uh, I thank everybody for over here. Anybody watching? All the quizzers. Thank you so much for this international. Uh, venture, the Kent Dinajpur Quiz Association, District Quiz Association. Thank you, sir. Myri Stika, Myri Stika, Shorov, and everybody. Thank you, sir. And sir, Dibo Jyoti sir, uh, no words for you for organizing this. And ma'am is, I think, uh, uh, sorry, your ma'am is also there. I believe it's a privilege to have you. The last question of the quiz coming up. This is another beautiful bird. Identify this bird. The last question coming up. Bird. And they all go full out to court the ladies. At breeding time, the brightly colored males stake out a staging area called a lek, the bird equivalent of a singles bar. A branch serves as the dance floor. The act is in all snazzy steps. Sound is just as important. <laughs> so there are many ways of courtship, and this bird, the male bird, does a wonderful courtship. It's a moonwalk, like Michael Jackson. The bird belongs to a family. Uh, Pipredi uh, of small subskine uh, passerine birds. The group contains some 60 species distributed through the American uh, tropics. The name is from Middle Dutch, which means little man. They occur from southern Mexico, Mexico, the northern Argentina, Paraguay, and southern Brazil, and on Trinidad and Tobago as well. So identify, identify this beautiful bird species, ma'am. Uh, yes. Bird. And they all go full out to court the lady. Este pájaro pertenece a una familia bipedida de pequeños pájaros paseriformes subocinos. El grupo contiene una 60 especies distribuidas a través de los trópicos americanos. El nombre del holandés medio, que significa hombrecitos, ocurre desde el sur de México hasta el norte de Argentina. Paraguay y el sur de Brasil, también en Trinidad y Tobago, se divide en muchas especies. Identifique el pájaro. Okay, so sir, uh, this is a, a question. Has a beautiful bird. So any answer coming? I have lots of sir. Mine. Yes, Mr. Fit. Junior Ghosh. Yes, Manakin? please. Manakin? Manakin? Yes. Rubinos. Manakin? My yes. goodness. My goodness. But before, I think that was the last question, but I think uh, I'd like to show one question which I framed from uh, almost as writing. So in the meantime, when uh, things are going on. I'll just shift. I'll stop share, and then I'll go into the. Uh, I'll try to find out where the question has gone. And uh, I thank everybody. How many answers have come so far? The lots of but a boy age yeah, eleven years years. name Orkunil Ghosh gave the first answer. The bright colored male. Oh, fantastic! This is this is the boy who is present here. 
Oh, Arconil Ghosh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. So we come to the end of the quiz. But uh, 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 thank you so much. I think we have, to, sir, we have two or three minutes discussion. I'll hand it over to you. I thank everybody for being here. What an occasion is this international program, Lokhim Dinashpur District Quiz Association. Thank you. Bari Stika, Omar sir, uh, Soria ma'am, everybody here. And uh, thousands are watching on Facebook Live. This is your friend Rajiv Sanyal signing off just for now, handing over to Dibo Yutisa for a second. Sir. Uh, thanks for everybody for joining us today. It's uh, really a pleasure. Uh, gracias a todos uh, para estar con nosotros esta tarde, especialmente de México, de Costa Rica, de Colombia y otros uh, países uh, es, es un placer estar con nosotros en futuro por, porque es un experimento es un experimento que estamos haciendo para conectarnos con la otra parte del mundo it's really that we are experimenting to be connected us with the other part of the world and to know what is happening there. So it is the first step uh, between us and I hope as we Omar is there with Omar, we are planning a lot of things. So we will be doing it. We will be continuing it uh, doing this activity uh. <laughs> so that India can know uh, Latin America better than the past. Sir, sir, I'm just interrupting. I just want to ask one more question, which I got from the research work of uh, Omar, sir. So let me just read the question with a kind permission. I missed it out. So this is uh, the kind of work sir is doing. Biodiversity, uh, this is a question. Endemic to Mexico, they live on ground with digging habits. They are small to large talentulas with a body length up to seven centimeter. The female is uh, robuster than the male and lives up to 20 years. They inhabit forests, uh, areas, grasslands and thickets. And it is common to see males uh, you know, in heat during raining seasons. But in northern region, in northern region of Mexican states, these arachnids are known as mule legs. My question is why? The very interesting question, the quizzes. This is the Pedrigal Tarantula. This Tarantula in northern Mexico state is known as mule legs. Why? I framed this question. Uh, take Ambi, Caesar, Omar, uh, Albos, Torares. And so this was being made. And so my question, now anybody can answer. Show off. Um, Omar, sir, you will not be answering. You will be explaining. <laughs> First, sir, I don't have the answer. <laughs> I don't have the answer. Okay. That, Actually, sir, that is good. You don't have the answer. I don't so you cannot answer. cheat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm joking. Yes, yes, yes. What are the answers that have come? Okay. Avronil Ghosh, tell me. Sorry. Sir, I put on theory. Huh. Uh, so my theory is that because uh, they have long legs like the mule. Okay, good try. No. Any other answers? Interesting answers coming, Shodaf? Yes, sir. Somebody has answered Perote hmm. ground squirrel. Perote ground squirrel. No. Aja, sir. Uh, Omar, sir. Please explain the answer. Okay. Um... La pregunta en español es que dice, en el, la región norte del Estado de México, estos arácnidos son conocidos como patas de mula. Uh, that is, in the northern region of Mexico State, these arachnids are known as mula legs. Uh, why? ¿Por qué? Mm, here, in my country and my region, but, uh, the people think that this uh, spider, uh, Mexican tarantula, 
when he bites a mule or a horse or a donkey, uh, they think that this bite can put out the leg of the animal. And that is este, the thinking of the people of here. Es la creencia de la gente de aquí que cuando un animal, de este, una tarántula de estas muerde a, a un caballo, a una mula o a un burro, se le cae el, el casco de la pata. Ajá. Este, por eso se les llama eh, patas de mula. Pero en realidad no es eso, es, otro, es una enfermedad que les da a los cascos de los caballos o de los equinos cuando están en mucha humedad. Entonces, si me permiten, se las presento en, en realidad. Denme un segundito. He, he, uh, Omar is going to show something. Muchas gracias. Omar, yes, he's going to show something. He is one of the experts of Latin America, especially of Mexico, about this environment and biodiversity. Some this is the sir, interrupting you. Some people answer, Do they kick backwards? Ah, hurry, just yes. watch. My goodness, wow, this is in... Mexican spider. My, my goodness, <laughs> but this is this is poisonous, sir. No, no, oh. it's harmful. My goodness, this is the Mule leg or spider or tarantula, pata de mula. Oh. What an occasion is this? Can we all put our hands together? This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Yes, sir, this is a female. <laughs> bien, Omar, bien. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is from my, my municipality. is from Jilotepec. And yeah. when you say... This is his name is Afonopelma Anitajovminae or Pedregal Tarantula. Pedregal this tarantula. is native of here. So this, this is a family is... the male the smallest. Very smallest. Two. Sir, what can I say? <laughs> Believe me, I'm having geese bombs. This is unbelievable. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I think everybody is watching. They will never imagine in a quiz. You're watching a you're showing a live tarantula. My goodness. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So we have come to the formally come to the end of the quiz. I'd like to hand over to Dibbojuti, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh Dokken Dinajpur District Quiz Association. Thank you, Maris Tika. Thank you, Romus, sir. Thank you, Soria ma'am. Thank you, the entire team of uh in the Hispanic Language Academy, under your guidance, we okay. can make big events. And thank you so much, the young gun. Thank you so much, sir. I'd like to hand it over the microphone back to you, sir. Uh, thank, thank you, Rajiv. Thank you for your participation, for your uh, sincere effort to for the quiz. It's really a pleasure. Uh, to have you. I thank all the ambassadors who were present in our uh, curtain raiser in the last uh, week, two weeks back. I thank Omar, his team. I thank all the Kshindinaspur District Quiz Association, Mistrika, this, uh, everybody connected with this directly or indirectly. So it's a really a pleasure for us and hope we will be connected with you at regular intervals sir. in somehow with the other so that with Latin America we can have much more interactions. Thank you. Good night for Indians. Have a nice day for the Latin Americans. Hasta pronto. Saludos. Muchas gracias a todos. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Hasta pronto. Muchas gracias. Buen día. Thank you, Joseph. Buenas tardes. From joining from United Hasta States. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. Thank you, Roger. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Buenas noches, I believe. I learned. <laughs> gracias a todos. Gracias, Omar. Gracias, Armando. Buenos días. Gracias, Jonathan. Gracias, Air. Ese español está muy bueno. Gracias, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. All right.
So see you once again. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. With this, we no, sign thank off. Thank you.